Hello YouTube, it's Deezer HD here. I've got another tutorial and uh, I've got a cold to it. I'm sorry if I sound uh, a bit bunged up at all. Uh, it's a softbox tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do to build softbox, just a simple one, um, and how to use Expresso to control all of the lights within the softbox. So the first thing we want to do, obviously, is go into Cinema 4D. As you can see, I've got R13 now, which is all good. There's uh, R12 there. I don't really use as I've got R13 now. Uh, there's only one thing I'm not really happy with, and I'm quite confused about the navigation side of it. It's quite confusing, but I'll get used to it eventually. So, uh, when you got in Cinema 4D, what you want to do is go up to this tool next to the cube. You can see it's like um, a backward S, like a, I don't know, it's a freehand spline. That's basically what it is. And you want to go into the Bezier or Bezier, I don't know how to say it, I think it's a Bezier spline. And that's the one you want to select. And you want to click this little top box here. This little box. It'll bring up all four views. And you want to click this one in the front view. So you can see here we've got the front view. Now what you want to do is basically draw the shape of your soft box. So um, I'm just going to draw like a basic shape. You don't have to copy me. Well, this, this arrow gets in the way. So I'm just going to... There we go. So uh, just build your own shape. So when you've done that, just connect it up. And there we go. That's the basic shape that my softbox is going to be. So now we've got the spline. You want to go into this section here. You may It may look different on yours if you've got R12 or R11.5, but you can still do the tutorial of the softbox. So uh, click this one so it selects all of it. And what you want to basically do is go con Command C V or Control C V if you're on a Windows computer. And just drag one this way and one slightly this way. And there we go. The next thing we want to do is this tab uh, next to the one we just used is the NURBS tab. And you want to select a loft NURBS. Now drag both splines as a child as the loft NURBS. And now you can see we've got a nice uh, shape, softbox shape. And you want to go into the loft NURBS uh, section. Uh, well first what we'll do actually is we'll create a material so double click down here double click the material you want to turn off specular because we don't really need it and just make a nice black material and just drag it on to this there we go now you want to select the not loft nerves and go into this tool here which has got a square like an orange square which is the face selection well I don't know what really what it is it's like the front selection so uh, when you've got the loft nerves, you hit C on your keyboard, and then you go. You can see we could select each square. Now, if we go into the live selection tool, this one here, and and we click that, and then we just want to select every one on this. Or say, if we wanted to select this one, will probably look a bit better if we did it this way. And we just hold Shift down, and you just want to select a few of these. You can go all the way to the edges if you want, but I'm going to choose to just do this lot. And uh, maybe we could get an extrude and just move it up a little bit like this. There we go. Now we're going to make another new material. Double click. We'll call this a uh, reflection. So, and you'll see why in a minute. So reflection. And then you want to uncheck everything but the luminance. That's the only thing. And then when we've done that, we can right mouse click... Uh, the new material and click apply and you can see it just goes onto this one section here now maybe I've extruded that too far so I'm just gonna keep pressing command Z until I maybe we just extrude it a little bit because we don't really want it to come out the top because we want it to look smart there we go now I'm just gonna quickly make that new material again um, Not good having a cold, guys. There we go. And then we click apply. There we go. Cool. So there's our basic softbox. But that's not the end of the tutorial, don't worry. Now we're going to go uh, click our loft nerves and we can do Alt G. It's going to make a new null object and we're going to call this the light uh, softbox, actually. Or overhead softbox or whatever. I'm just going to call it the softbox as it's easier to type. So now we've got our softbox. We want to get uh, a new area light. 
and we want to rotate it about 90 degrees um, so here we go hold shift to constrain it to 5 deg degree angles it'll change this 5 degrees you can see and then when we've done that we want to go into this little square again and the top view as you can see and select the square face selection tool again and the light making sure it's on live selection and there we go we can put that in the middle and we can just roughly make it the same size as uh, the plain or the white section is so uh, I'm not actually sure whereabouts mine is I think that's about right for me so that's all good and we want to just go into the side view uh, well the front view um, zoom in and just make sure it's a little bit below just like so it's inside these two black lines here all right then we want to drag this into the soft box so we've got our light uh, we want to click the light and make sure we've got uh, area shadows on so that's all good and there we go we've got a basic soft box to light our scene and uh, so that looks pretty cool right the next thing we're gonna do is uh, the espresso so what we're going to do is we're going to right mouse click the softbox, Cinema 4D tags and Espresso. This is where the magic happens. This is where your softbox will work. So uh, we're just going to close Espresso actually. Because first we need to get the user interface. So uh, we're going to go into our light thing here. Just click the light. And we're going to click color holding shift. And we're going to click all the way down to shadow. And then we're going to right mouse click and copy user data interface. And now on the soft box null, we're going to go user data, add user data. And we're going to delete this data and we're going to add a new group and we're going to call this light control. There we go. Then we're going to right mouse click light control over here on the left and click paste. And we can delete use temperature and color temperature. Now this is all the default settings, so the um, first thing we're going to do is the colour, we want that as default as white. The intensity, let's uh, put this to about 90 as the default. Um, the type, we want this as an area, so down here where it says default value, we want that as an area. And the same with the shadow area. Cool. Now what we're going to do is go into our material here. And we're just going to change, uh, we're just going to click brightness and get the right mouse click and click copy user data interface just for the brightness, nothing else. Click the X, go back into our soft box just here, user data, manage user data, and there we go. And we can just click paste on there. So we can drag this down to the bottom. We're going to call this reflection brightness. There we go. And we're going to call this as the short name as well. There we go, reflection brightness. And first one, we just want to drag it up to 100, and that's done now. And as you can see, we've got it all down here. It's all, if we click um, softbox, all of the controls are down here um, on the user data. But as you can see, it's actually not really, it's actually not changing anything. So let's just put that back to 90. Um, so now we're going to do the espresso. So we're going to double click this tag that we put on earlier. So we're going to drag in the reflection material, make sure it's nice and big, the softbox null, drag that down, and also the light, that we, we uh, the area light. There we go. We can make this a little bit bigger. The first thing you want to do is, um, on this red input side, you want to click and you want to go to user data, light control, color, and color. Then again, user data intensity and you want to do this for each one except for on color as you can see we've got all these RGB we don't need those just select color then we can just select everything from the user data into there and then on the reflection we just want to go into the blue side click and we want to go into the luminance and the luminance brightness actually no sorry delete that one uh, we want to go into luminance and the color and then we'll just select luminance color there and the light if we want to go to general color color general intensity general shadow and general type so let's go down to there 
Now it's just a case of linking everything up so colour goes with luminance colour, which will mean the light and the reflection change to exactly the same colour, which is good. So the colour goes to the colour there on the light. Um, now we want the intensity to go to the intensity, the reflection brightness here is what we can delete. We don't need that. But we, we could actually do that. Let's do that in a second. We could go shadow to shadow, type to type. So now I'm just going to quickly click the X and what we're going to do is go back into our softbox, user data, manage user data. So we can see here we've got the reflection brightness. So that's how bright the reflection is. So we're going to double click and put the reflection brightness to the intensity of the light. All right. Well, maybe if we um, we go on here to reflection, and we can, as you can see, if we put in here luminance, luminance brightness, we can put the reflection brightness onto there like that. So that's all good. We can click the X now, and as you can see, say if we go into our softbox, if we change the color to red, it's going to go red. The light's going to be red. Let's keep it at white. Um, the intensity is going to go down for the light. I don't know if you can see this little black star if I zoom in for you. See this little black star here? That pre that represents the light. As you can see it's black as the intensity is right down. When we go up it slowly fades into white. And the reflection brightness which is this white bit which will be reflected from the objects. You can drag down. There we go. You can see it's nice and it's changing so that's a basic softbox for you guys, and I'll, get, I'll show you a quick render. So if we get a sphere, maybe if we just drag the softbox up, like this, we will need to add multiple lights. So maybe if we duplicate the softbox, Command C V or Control V, Control C V. I'm just going to zoom out quickly, just to make sure. Um, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, like this. Um, we can just drag that back and down just so it's got a nice bit of lighting on there. And for the softbox, so we don't see it, we can go softbox, cinema 4D tags if you right click, cinema 4D tags and compositing. And we can click uh, uncheck, uncheck uh, cast shadows and scene by camera. And then if you hold command or control you can copy this to this softbox as well. So uh, there we go, we can just quickly hide them from the render by double clicking this little red like uh, traffic light or whatever we want to call it so we can't actually see it now we've got a nice sphere and for the second one I'm gonna make it slightly uh, blue as you can see if I just make it a tiny amount of blue there and set this to about 60% and this one I'm gonna make slightly amber just it gives a really nice uh, contrast between the colors and put this one back down to 90 there we go. Now we're going to make a new material. We're just going to make a really quick material. So let's just make it any color, like a nice blue with a reflection uh, for now. There we go. That's a nice reflection there. Maybe a little bit too much. We don't want too much. Maybe 50 and 30. There we go. Now, or if even if we made it white so we can see the nice reflections in in the scene so obviously you could build more of a scene around it but for the quick render we're just going to have a look at what the reflections look like and uh, there we go you can see it's got some nice reflections and stuff maybe they're a bit too sharp so you want to go into reflection blurriness let's say uh, 15 I don't know just a quick guess obviously it'll take a little bit longer to render but there we go so that's all good um, obviously you'd have more of a studio and for the next tutorial I'll teach you how to make a curved studio look. Um, I'll show you a quick uh, quick example here. So um, it will be in R12 and my light kit and I'll show you a quick example. Uh, I've got a curved scene. Which one has a curved scene? So, This one has a curved scene, so if I go into this, um, come out of the camera view, and as you can see, look at my uh, setup. We've got some nice curves around here to set up a really nice studio look. 
and uh, I d it might take a while to render but as you can see the background is just uh, it'll be all smooth um, there'll be it'll look like there's no background and it still catches the shadows which is all good because um, it sometimes when I I don't know why but when I do um, compositing tags and I uh, hide the floor but make it sure it's seen by a no, make sure it's not seen by the camera, it doesn't capture the shadows and it doesn't look all that good. But as you can see around here, uh, if I move my mouse, just around here and around here, look, you can see it's a nice gradient coming down. So I'll teach you how to make that in the next tutorial, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please like this video. And let me know if this is the type of thing you want to be learning and stuff. So thanks very much, guys, and see you in the next tutorial. Peace.